Hi, I'm John Sawash, author of the Electric Educator blog, and I'm going to be showing you today how to connect your Wiimote to your laptop so that you can create the WeBoard uh, smart board. I am using um, a Dell laptop, and I'm running uh, Windows XP. And don't be fooled by the Apple background. This is a uh, Windows machine, not a not a Mac. You'll also need Bluetooth compatibility on your laptop or in my case um, a Bluetooth dongle because I don't have integrated Bluetooth on my laptop and you will need a Wiimote. Um, please note that you don't need the Wii controller or excuse me, the Wii console, you just need the Wiimote. Let's get started on connecting our Wiimote to our computer. The first thing you need to do is to enable your Bluetooth service. I have an external Bluetooth uh, device, so I'm going to plug that in. Uh, it's just kind of like a USB drive. You may have uh, internal Bluetooth if you've got a newer laptop. Um, and the next few steps will be slightly different depending on what you're using, but uh, the general principles are the same. That's now connected. So I'm going to go down here to the um, tray bar and uh, right click on the Bluetooth icon and go up to add a Bluetooth device. Click on that and it's going to remind me to make sure that my device is set up and ready to be found. In other words, you have to make it discoverable. To make your Wiimote discoverable, you're going to press the 1 and 2 buttons at the same time. When you do that, the lights at the bottom should begin to blink. I've done that, so I'm going to click Next. Now the Wiimote is sending out a signal, and my computer is searching for a signal. So hopefully, they will find each other. And they have, so I will click on that and say Next. Now it's going to ask me if I want to make my connection secure. I do not, I'm, I do not require a secure connection um, in this instance, so I'm going to skip this step. I'm going to say do not use a pass key. Now one thing to note, I'm looking at my Wiimote and it is no longer blinking. And that's fine because we haven't connected it yet. It has a power saver feature. So if nothing happens for a certain period of time, it turns itself off. So I'm going to press the one and two buttons again so that it uh, is again sending out a signal and click next. So now my computer will find that signal once again and um, connect it to my computer. So we're all done. It is connected, so I'm going to say finish. And there's one more step that I need to do before we're ready to go. Right here on my desktop, <clears throat> I have a Wiimote Smoothboard. And uh, this is what I'm going to use to connect to the Wiimote and allow it to be turned into a smart board. I'm going to open that up. And uh, that's the program that I'm going to run right there. I just want to show you where this came from. I'm going to open up my browser here. Um, he is the software developer who put this program together. And if you click on this link right here, it will take you to the download page. I've also linked to this site on my blog, electriceducator.blogspot.com. And if you scroll down to the setting your Wii board post up, I've got the link listed um, right here. So either of those two places can be used to get the program. Back to uh, Smoothboard. We've now connected our Wiimote, but before our Wiimote is fully functional, we need to calibrate the screen. So I'm going to click on the Show Settings button, and then I'm going to click on Calibrate. Now, before you calibrate your Wiimote, you need to place your Wiimote so that it is pointing at the projected image from your LCD projector. I have good setup. My projector is mounted to the ceiling of my classroom. So I put my Wiimote on top of my projector, pointed right at the screen, and that works really well. You can also put it on um, the table. Uh, a lot of people even use mic stands to mount their uh, Wiimote and point it at the screen. Uh, and you'll just have to kind of play around with it to find the best position and the best angle. But once you find it, uh, you'll go to this calibration screen that you see, and using your infrared pen, You'll go up to the projected image and click on this target here, 
then it will move over to the right corner and then to the bottom right corner and the bottom left corner. Once that's done, it will go away and you will see how much of the screen you are using right down here. This is how much of the screen the Wiimote is currently seeing. Now don't waste your time trying to get it all the way up to 100%. I don't think that I've ever gotten above 50%. So somewhere between 30 and 50% seems to be adequate for most uses. So I can hide that and your Wiimote should be fully functioning and ready to go.